Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So for this video, we are here in front of my vanity with a bare face and undone hair because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys my updated makeup routine and also an insight on how I style my hair, specifically my bangs, because I know you guys have been requesting that quite a lot lately. So yeah, let's go ahead and get ready. Alright, so the first step I'm taking is applying concealer, and what I'm using is the Dermablend Professional Flawless Creator Multi-Use Liquid Pigments, and this is actually a foundation that you're supposed to mix with other pigments to create a custom foundation, but it works so good as a concealer, especially if you're pale like me, so that's what I'm going to use, and I just apply this with a beauty blender, so I just go whoop, whoop, that's pretty much all I use, and... I just pat it in like that and I just love it because it gives you such a Photoshop finish that I just you just use it it's just great so I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way undetectable medium to full coverage foundation it's oil free and I'm using it in the color seashell um, so I just apply that on the rest of my face and I like to apply that a little bit over the concealer as well so it's just like a seamless blend and just a tip if you don't want that super cakey nose just wait till the very end to put it on just with whatever's left and just put it over that way your nose is snatched so this is the airspun loose face powder you can get it for like five to ten bucks depending on where you go at any drugstore oh and it's getting all over my skirt um and it's just absolutely amazing it makes your face look super soft it sets your makeup all day i don't even need to put on a setting spray at the end of it because it just sets it so well but it doesn't dry your skin out so it's just the perfect formula there's a reason it's been around since 1935. so i just take a brush like so and i just lightly dust my face and it has this very vintage scent but in all the best ways so the blush that i use is the super beat up sigma blush <laughs> it is the aura powder face powder it looks like that and i like to apply it all over my cheek not just on the apples of my cheeks um it just looks more uh youthful it looks more dainty it looks more soft and natural if you apply it all over because when you're sweat okay basically what we're doing with blush is recreating what we look like when we're flushed so you don't just flush exactly on the top of your cheeks maybe some people do but not me I flush all over my cheek I also flush on my chin my chinny chin chin and sometimes around my forehead. So that is where I apply the blush and that is why. So the highlighter I'm using is the Too Faced uh, Love Light Prismatic Highlighter in the color Blinded by the Light. It is just like this very pearly highlighter and I love it because it's the shape of a heart. It's so me, I love hearts. Um, so I just take my finger and I use my finger just because I want heavier coverage when it comes to highlight. So what I like to do is just apply it to the very top of my cheekbones and highlighting your face just helps you look more healthy and glowy so moving on to the eyes i am about to introduce the most beautiful eyeshadow you have ever heard of and i've been wearing this ever since i've discovered it it is the tetris ipsy um, eyeshadow in the color block party and it is this gorgeous rose gold it is very shimmery but it looks so natural and elegant on the eyelid so what i like to do is apply it with my finger sometimes with a blu or blush with a brush depending on the kind of finish that i want i use a brush if i want it to be more light but since i'm going for like more of an intricate eye i apply it with my finger and i just swipe it on my lid then i put it in the inner crease So for the rest of the eye makeup, I am whipping out the Disney Designer Collection by ColourPop. This is the It's a Princess Thing palette, and it is based on the Disney princesses, obviously. And these are the colors inside, and I am so obsessed with this palette. And no, 
not because it's Disney, even though that has something to do with it, um, but mainly because the colors are just so great. These are colors that I would naturally gravitate toward, and so it has been deemed my favorite palette. So I am bringing out the color Triton. That's the color I use on my crease in my videos, and I like to just dust it like so. Next, I like to grab the Prince Charming color right here. It's just a really nice pearly silver, and I like to use the back of the brush, actually, to put it on my inner corners. I like to dot it, almost. All right, so now that we're done with the eyeshadow, what I like to use for the eyeliner is the Roller Liner Eyeliner by Benefit. I just use any brown eyeliner that is liquid, and I'm gonna show you how I do my wing, because I've changed the way I do my wing now. So I zoomed in just a little bit more, that way you guys can kind of see the line. Um, but you can see it kind of starts a little bit lower. Before, it used to go like this, almost like cat ears. And the reason why I changed that is because I changed my hair color. Now the hair color that I have is called Bambi Brown. So it's not reddish, it's not goldish like most brown hair colors are. It's literally the most neutral color of brown. And because it was called Bambi Brown, like that's the technical name for it, I was like, oh my god, that is so cute. I should do like a doe-eyed look with my eyeliner to kind of like go in theme with Bambi. And so that's why I changed like almost, it almost creates like a little bit of a droopy effect, just slightly, uh, to emulate the doe eyes. And I also use brown because it's softer on the eyes than black. Black is a little bit more harsh on your overall look. So from there, I just do this. Like so. Okay. All right, so now that we're done with the eyeliner, we're gonna go ahead and put on some lashes. So the lashes that I'm gonna be putting on is called Monroe, ironically enough. And they are from Coco Lashes. Ooh, you can, oh, here we go, here we go. You can kind of see it. Ooh, ooh, wait, that was the wrong way. <laughs> can you see it? Can you see it? It's probably not gonna focus. Ah. Aha. That's what they look like. <laughs> and I'm placing these lashes a little bit past my eyes because it enhances that doe-eyed effect. If you look at Bambi, even his eyes kind of flare out in the inner corners. It's so cute, I love it so much. So quickly going back to my Princess Thing palette, I am taking a boo and I am placing that on the outer corners of my eye. And I'm kind of connecting it to the eyeliner a teeny bit so it kind of looks more like a triangle. So for mascara, I am using the Maybelline Great Lash Mascara. It's a good classic, it's been around for a while, and it looks like it has been. <laughs> um, so I'm just applying that a little bit to the top lashes and to the bottom. All right. So moving on to eyebrows, I am taking Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the color, I don't know, but I think it's the color taupe, if I remember correctly. And I'm just lightly filling them in. And don't forget to highlight them brow bones. Schnotched. So for the lips, I am using this heavily abused <laughs> lip liner by Buxom in the color Undercover and I'm just applying it on my lips. And I'm applying it all over because it makes your lipstick last way longer to have lip liner under it than if when you don't, so. I'm just gonna apply that all over. Okay. For my everyday, every season type of lip look, I top it off with the ColourPop Disney Lipstick in the color Ariel, and just put it right on top. Mm. 
So this is the lip look you guys typically see me with. I've been wearing this lip look for about a few months now. Sometimes in pictures or in video it can come across as a light peach, like in my last couple videos. And sometimes, depending on the lighting, it can come across a little bit darker. And I don't know why I'm losing my voice and I sound like the chocolate lady. Chocolate, what did you say? <coughs> As I was saying before my throat rudely interrupted, um, depending on the lighting, it can look sometimes lighter peach, it can kind of look a little bit more on the brown side, depending on the lighting, depends on the filter, depends on the day. So yeah, but this is the formula, my secret formula of my lip look. So moving on, I just realized that I forgot a contour. That's something that I started doing now. I didn't do that before, I would always avoid it up until recently. So I recently started contouring because I'm totally obsessed with the way it looks with the eye and lip makeup and I love the, how it looks with the brown hair. I never liked the way it looked with my red hair or my blonde hair, but just this specific combo going on just calls for this. I know, it's such a crime to look this good. <laughs> but I'm I hope no one's dying out there. So the first thing you want to do is single out your bangs. And once you look like an early 2000s email kid, you're ready. <laughs> um, but I straighten my hair before I do any styling just because it gives me a smoother canvas to work on because my hair is like super curly. Um, and also it helps if your bangs are about this long, about eye level. This is a little bit past eye level. It's now mouth level. <laughs> um, but it's totally still doable and that's why I'm not in a hurry to cut it. But if you guys want a tutorial on how I cut my bangs and other bang styles that I do that are vintage inspired, I could totally do a video on that. Just let me know. But this is just my everyday bang. So we're just going to head and grab a straightener. I have it on 315 degrees and make sure you have heat protected in your hair. I already do. So what you're going to do is go like this, turn the straightener over, and it doesn't matter what your straightener looks like as long as it's a straightener, and let go. Woo! So from there you want to start molding. Now these bangs that I do are very very inspired by Aurora from Sleeping Beauty, so that's why it has like that kind of curl that sits on its side. So to get that look, I first kind of make it look like normal bangs and then on the outside here I lay it on its side if that makes any sense and I just form the curl with my fingers until it's that <laughs> so on this side I just spread it out sometimes I'll bring it down so it kind of cascades in a diagonal in a way just depending from the look that I want for the day, but all in all, I definitely like to do this loop here. I think it's so romantic, so vintage, so feminine, and very fairy tale like. So, yeah, I like that. That's literally it. I know it's super easy. So, we are finally done, and what I'm wearing, in case you're curious, I'm wearing my Christmas outfit. I was supposed to wait for Christmas to wear this, but I couldn't because it's so cute. Let me show you. So I'm wearing this top that I got at Unique Vintage, and I got this skirt on Etsy. It's so flowy, pretty. <laughs> and I'm wearing these earrings that I got at, I think on Etsy as well, I'm not sure. But yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want more casual videos like this on my channel, let me know. If you guys want more bang tutorials on my channel, let me know. And uh, make sure you subscribe so that way you guys get more content like this and also more vintage content, which will be coming out as usual. And I hope you guys have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in my next video.